this video we're using the calculator to determine a confidence interval for the population proportion. So we're going to create this confidence interval using the graphing calculator's feature. It's a very easy procedure if you have the summary data values like we have here. Right? Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. It tells us that our n value is actually equal to 3,896. We have the x value, we have a confidence level. Let's go ahead and enter that stuff in our calculator then. So here's how we get there. We hit stat. And then once you press stat, you arrow, arrow over to where it says tests. And we're going to scroll down until we see the one proportion interval, one proportion z interval. So we have to scroll past all of this information, past this, past that. So keep going down. It's actually in my calculator option A. Depending on your calculator, it might not be the same option. But in my calculator, it's option A. So it's a one proportion z interval that we want. So we hit enter there. The first thing it asks us for is the x value. So our x value is 702. That's nice. So 702. And then from there, it's going to ask for the n. The n is 3,896. So we'll do 3,896. And then from there, the last thing it wants is the confidence level, which is 0.95. So I'll enter 0.95 in the calculator. Then we hit enter and then enter one more time to calculate it and when we do that we get the final result. The result is 0.16812 up to 0.19225 and then it also gives us our sample proportion p hat. I just want to mention something sometimes you're not given n and x in the problem you're given instead um, a p hat to start with. So I just want to make mention that if you were given p hat so in this case for example our p hat was 0.18 right so if our p hat was 0.18, say roughly, if they provided that to us in the problem and we didn't have x, you could always determine x by saying that p hat is equal to x over n, right? And then if I want to solve for x to figure out what it is, I would just do n times p hat. So our n is 3,896, right? So I multiply both sides by n here. That cancels out, so we get n times p hat, so the p hat is 0.18. That will give us an answer for x. Now, it'll give us a decimal answer in many cases, so what I want to do is show you how that works. If I press stat in my calculator, I go back to that test that we just were at, scroll down until we get there. Okay, so we're doing the one proportion z interval again, I hit enter. So let's say if I entered this in for x, so I did 3,896 times 0.18. If I hit enter, you'll see it gives me a decimal, right? It gives me 701.28. And then I have the n, and I have the confidence level, right? If I try to hit calculate here, it's going to give me an error message. And the reason why is it's actually telling me that I can't use a decimal for x. It knows x should be a whole number. So what I'm going to do in that case is I have to go back there. Let's go back down to where it was. The one proportion is the interval. So I'll hit enter. In that case, I need to enter you know, a whole number for this. So if that, if that had been the calculation that I did and I got 701.28, I would just go ahead and call that 701. In other words, I round normally. Now, of course, that's not the same value we had for x, but that was because I really rounded off this p hat value heavily, right? It was just to demonstrate how it would be done. You scroll down, you know, enter all your other information, hit enter for calculate, and you get your solution, right? So basically the point is, is that you want to be very careful um, when you're dealing with this type of formula. Make sure that you don't enter a decimal in for x. So if it comes up with a decimal as the calculation, you need to round normally to produce a whole number of value. So again, though, just to recap how we do this, we press stat, go over to where it says test, we'll take option A. I'm going to go there directly by hitting alpha A in my calculator. I get the number. I enter your x value, which is 702 in this case. So I'll type in 702. Enter your n. That's already entered in for us in this case. The confidence level 0.95 as a decimal. Hit calculate and you get your solution. Alright, so that's it. That's how to use the graphing calculator to create a proportion interval.